Right, Stacey Abrams ventured onto the campaign trail today for the first time since announcing her latest campaign for governor. 11 Alive's Doug Richards taking a look at how it frames her message 10 months ahead of the November election. Although Stacey Abrams skipped an event in Georgia with President Biden last week, she cleared her calendar today to appear with some of the Georgia Democratic Party's most reliable supporters. Hi guys. The Democrat who came within one and a half points of beating Brian Kemp in 2018 made her 2022 debut at a union hall near downtown. Our next governor, Stacey Abrams. Eight labor representatives had lined up to endorse Abrams, who expects to spend much of this campaign year observing the infighting of her two Republican opponents, Governor Brian Kemp and former U.S. Senator David Perdue. While much of their rhetoric invokes Abrams, I'm running for governor to make sure Stacey Abrams is never governor of Georgia. Many Republicans fear the primary will weaken whoever emerges the winner to face Abrams this fall. Your zip code should not determine whether you survive this pandemic. Abrams talked up health care, education, criminal justice reform, and her opposition to Kemp and Purdue's proposal to eliminate the permit to conceal carry firearms. In a statement issued afterward, Governor Kemp's campaign described them as far-left radical groups. It is with labor that we build. The early start of Abrams' campaign makes sense, says political scientist Andre Gillespie. So they shouldn't wait until July to do that. They might as well take advantage of, of the time um, and start to lay that groundwork for the statewide campaign now. I am excited to have this early endorsement because that means we can get to work early. That while they fight one another, we can work together to fight for Georgia. Although election campaigns seem to be starting earlier than ever, Abrams will have the luxury of working behind the scenes for a few weeks, raising money, refining her message, while Kemp and Purdue duke it out this spring.